engine oil changed. I got the wet clutch oil changed. Grease fittings greased. Looks like I could use a couple belts and possibly a couple pulleys. They are a little bit loose. I'll look online tonight and see if I can get some of the pulleys and a couple belts for it just so I have it. Because tomorrow I'm going to be spraying prodiamine on the yard. This is probably the earliest I've done it. It's March 29th, but the ground temp is it's at 55 degrees, so it's time to spray. This is what I'm using. This is prodiamine, and I've been using it for a few years now. It seems to do a pretty decent job. And I put down right around a pound, like a pound and a quarter of this per tank, and that does about an acre. I'm not doing quite an acre this year, just because I have this that I'm still trying to grow grass, and then this took up a big chunk of space along with the patio, so I'll probably just knock it down to about one pound. That should do a pretty good job. The other thing I'm doing also is I'm doing a half application. So I'm not gonna put in the entire pound. I'm gonna do a half an app. So I'll do a half a pound. And then two or three weeks from now, I'll do the next half a pound. Just in case it like rains like two inches in the next couple days and it washes out, I'll have a backup in a couple weeks. The other application. And I don't know where all my stuff is my measuring cups and stuff so i got a two-stroke oil container here mixer so that's what i'll use i got that and i got a scale so then we're off to the races here so my scale it's already set to pounds so half a pound in the tank and I have eight gallons in there right now I'm gonna bring this back over to the hose and I'll bring it up to 10 gallons I don't need to put in 12 12 gallons is for a full acre I'm not gonna do it a full acre all right let's mix this thing up a little bit this over to the hose put a couple more gallons in this driving it over there we'll mix it up driving it back we'll mix it up and the whole way this thing agitates so we'll be good to go I don't know how much farther over I'm gonna be able to actually go with this machine. This is already getting, this is, this is real soft right here. So I'm gonna have to be careful. It's a pretty heavy machine. I don't wanna get it stuck, but we'll see. I don't wanna leave huge ruts either, you know? So I might be able to make one more pass and then I might have to switch over to the backpack sprayer. So 
actually made it farther than I was expecting. I thought for sure I wasn't gonna make it past the fire pit there and I was gonna have to do that by hand, but I made it pretty much all the way into the back other than that area right there. That's always swampy until probably the end of May. That's pretty good. So I got about two gallons left. That ain't bad. All right, so I'm gonna empty this tank into this bin right here. Neutral, on, choke. I am yep, putting that? putting that into this. That, what, that milky? Yep. Is so that the yellow. It? No, you don't want to smell it. Why? It's probably not good for you. This is a chemical. So. No, I think it's just a regular fly. Could be a mosquito. We got a spray for mosquitoes too. I'm gonna put a small little battery in this. Little three amp. Yeah, maybe tomorrow we can uh, kill mosquitoes. So this section of the lawn, I'm not able to get the permagreen. Not right now, because the ground is just too mushy, so I will spray this by hand. 